Yeah, so there's definitely a lot of pubs out here in San Jose. San Pedro Street is probably where you want to go to start your night. What's going on, everybody? This is Island Hopper TV coming to you from downtown San Jose. So we are on the San Jose historical walk. That's San Pedro Square right there. And you can see this is like a historical area. They have live music, restaurants, lots of uh, food down here. But let's keep walking towards the San Pedro Square Market. So they're going to have a lot of pubs and uh, restaurants around here. You can go inside that market there. It's more of a food court. So downtown San Jose has actually undergone some modernization. As you know, it's close to uh, Cupertino and you can go right through there, but maps are required. I don't have mine on at this particular moment. There's the uh, market. Lots of activity even on a, well, it's a Saturday afternoon actually. The old Wagon Wheel Saloon and Grill. Sure, tonight this place would really come to life. spaghetti factory so yeah real close to Cupertino Mountain View we got apartments being built right here so this is a live work play Silicon Valley hot spot downtown San, San Jose up and coming Look at all these uh, condos being built, apartments, sushi confidential. So yeah, San Jose is a young city. It's a young people that live here. San Jose State's nearby, Palo Alto, where Stanford is. Paul Mason, California wine industry. Obviously north of here is the, uh, oh, what do they got here? Got a big sign. It is Napa Valley where the wine country is. Even south of here, they have that. This is San Pedro Street and Santa Clara Street. So now we're gonna head out onto Market Street. It's a small downtown for a big city. Come on, this is the capital of Silicon Valley, so that says something, but they are 
modernizing it for sure. Lots of construction going on in all directions. The glass house. Pick up down here. But real quick, the electric light tower, 237 foot electric light. 1881. All right, so we're on San, Fran San Fernando Street. Got this old building here, near Market Street. You can see here it says San Jose History Walk. Founded 1777. They do have a pro sports team here. The San Jose Sharks. They're a hockey club. There's the San Jose Museum of Art. Interesting. So we're now headed over towards 1st Street. Looks like there's gonna be more outdoor dining to check out. If you guys are enjoying this travel guide of San Jose, this walking tour, please consider liking the video and watching some more of our other tours like this from around the country. See what all we got going on down over here on 1st. Nice little restaurant they got. I will say that uh, San Jose is definitely improving. So let's walk First Street here. You can see it's definitely uh, changing and getting a facelift. Although, there's not as many people out as I would have suspected for a Saturday afternoon. Looks like they had some sort of streetcar going through here. But yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, Definitely not as many people as I would have thought. Especially on a beautiful day like this. I mean, it's a little bit hot. Like maybe 80 something. It's gotta be in the 80s. It's definitely not that bad. Low humidity too. I would imagine over time though, San Jose will continue to pick up and become something, but a street like this, maybe it comes to life at night. But I don't know why, with all the infrastructure they have, why it's not bustling at this hour. I mean, look at this. All these seats ready to go. Maybe it's because of the situation going on in the world, I don't know. It's called Post. So, First Street and Post. Just wanted to walk down here real quick. I guess I should be coming down here at night. Maybe that's what it is. Insomnia cookies. I'm assuming that's CBD. Like, why is this place closed? On a Saturday? 
It says, quick cleaning, be back before you know it. So maybe they're getting ready to launch back into business soon. Going back out towards Santa Clara. Which I'm assuming is like the main drag. That and San Fernando Street. You know, in Silicon Valley, they have companies that are worth literally trillions of dollars, okay? Apple, for example, a trillion dollar company. Anyways, what I was saying about trillion dollar companies, you know, they got these uh, Apple and Google and all these other companies, right? Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft. They all have like some sort of satellite or Satellite campus or main campus here. Adobe. Lots of companies, right? Well, you'd think they'd spruce up their hometown. And have a vibrant scene. Great weather. Certainly have the capability to do it. So... Might just be a town that comes to life at night. I don't know. But let's keep exploring and see what we come across. We're definitely in downtown. So as you can see right here, Hotel De Anza, we've got more corporate headquarters. We've got Zoom. Around the way is going to be the uh, Adobe corporate headquarters. And we got Hotel De Anza. You guys remember De Anza Trail, part of the Camino Real. More street art. I must say, that's some nice street art. More condominiums. City living. San Jose has a lot of potential. It's getting there. Definitely getting there. <laughs> 